hey y'all what's up my name is faith and instead of cleaning my apartment like i was supposed to i uh <laughs> i watched every episode of avatar the last airbender and legend of korra whoops <laughs> So, I know a lot of people think that being social and being nerdy or geeky or dorky or whatever your preferred adjective for that is are two things that are totally mutually exclusive. But the thing is, that's not true. I mean, not at all. Yeah, I mean, some people are more introverted and may feel more comfortable on their own or at least engaging in social activities on their own terms. But this idea that just because of what you like, you're some top 40 pop culture hating, holier than thou, recluse hermit nightmare creature. That's super crazy. Like you see how super crazy that sounds, right? So as kind of like a personal comfort goal, I've been trying to push myself as far away as possible from that notion of defining what I like. Uh, you know, because even though I was a lot like that at 11, I mean, who wasn't? terrible nightmare creature at 11. I mean, I think we all probably were a little bit like that. But you know, I mean, I don't let other possible things that people might dislike about me or might have some sort of opinion on that's negative bother me at all. So why should I worry about what people may or may not think about me being nerdy? Now, I mean, that's nice in the abstract. But in real life, that can be a pretty tall order, especially since most people grow up with nerd and pop culture being presented as polar opposites. So I've come up with a few things that I want to try doing to kind of push myself away from those notions that I grew up with and that still freak me out whenever I try to do things to this day and into that kind of weird self-conscious zone I get in because, you know, who wants to deal with that? Seriously, who? Not me, probably not you. Bye bye let's get rid of it. All right, thing number one, wearing fandom related things in public. Not with like a stylized Captain America shirt, shield deal. Okay, I could get away with that. You see MCU things like in Target. So, you know, people probably would just be like, ah, oh, cool, whatever. But like, I saw this great picture that said wall Beyonce and I was like, oh, that is so pertinent to my life and everything I believe in. Um, let me let me ask the artist at some point in my existence if I can make a shirt out of their art. Um, I would be so like, yo, please don't anybody ever ask me about what that means. And, you know, since it's got Beyonce on it, people be like, oh, what does that mean? I know. What does that mean? I want to know. And I'd be like, um, just don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ain't no reason for that. So, wearing fandom related things in public with actual people seeing me do it. Oh, so self conscious about that. Ugh. Don't ask me things. So, thing number two, not worrying so much about body image in relation to being geeky. And by that, I mean, I think we all know about that. If, you know, you're doing something nerdy and you're all dressed up and dolled up and look super cute, people are going to approach you and be like, oh my god, that's so cool. She's a cool little nerd girl. Wow, awesome. As opposed to if your acne's hanging out and you haven't done your hair and you're going to pick up a third or fourth or fifth pizza, like, oh god, I bet she doesn't even leave her home. She's such a freak. Oh god, what is that? That whole thing, first of all, needs to stop because it's really damaging and horribly untrue. But two also should stop being a concern personally for me as well as anybody else who's watching this who has you know that concern if you start you know really kicking that in the face with yourself all it's going to do is change people's perception in the long run so no more of that crazy body image versus being a geek if i don't want to put on my makeup and i want to eat my fifth pizza i'm gonna do it I think thing three might be pretty particular to me, but it's it's dumb. So thing three is not opening things in incognito mode because I'm embarrassed about opening them on my computer in the first place. I mean, this is super dumb because it's like I'm the only one that goes on my computer and I live alone. So why am I opening Tokyo Ghoul in incognito mode? I need to stop doing that. Don't do not do that, me. That's dumb. If my computer shuts off, then I have to know history to wade through. 
I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's weird. So three, no opening things that are not porn in incognito mode. All right. Thing number four, not freaking out about doing fan art in public. Like, okay, I can see how that can be scary. Just doing art in public in general. The thing is, I don't have a problem doing art in public. If I have a deadline that I have to meet, I'm going to do art in public. And I've done that for a while now and it doesn't freak me out. But as soon as I open any sort of fandom related image, I'm like, yo, shit, can somebody just like dig me a hole to go sit down in? I'll keep buying things to make up for the hole and the damage that I did to your establishment. But I don't want anybody to see me. Don't look at me, please. God, don't look at me. So that's dumb. I mean, I actually just got a job because somebody saw me doing art in public and it happened to be fan art. So... I need to let that go. That's that's a silly, self-conscious sort of thing. So, number four. Doing fan art in public and not freaking out. Four. Here we go. Last one on the list. Thing number five. And this one I personally think is the most important. It's definitely been the most important one I've dealt with. And that's talking with your friends about what you enjoy. Long story short, I had a friend who, you know, she was a total geek too. But whenever I would bring up something, anything, she would, you know, address it with scorn, distaste, apathy, or just shut it down completely. But if ever she brought up something, totally fine. That fucked me up a lot. And I started to, you know, worry, what if all my friends think like this? What if all of my friends are really just putting up with me? And that's, that's crazy. You should never have to worry about something like that with your friends. They're your friends. That's what they're there for. Being friendly. Never, never, ever in a hundred thousand billion years should you ever have to worry about that with your friends. You should have people who, you know, enjoy what you enjoy and really love talking about whatever it is you guys both like together. So yeah, I mean, out of all of this, that was what got me most self-conscious about any of this in general. I was like, wow, my closest friend dislikes me for this? I shouldn't like me for this either. That's crazy. Stay away from that. That's dangerous and harmful and really bad for you in the long run. So I have been really heftily working on this with my other best friends. Um, We talk about fandom shit. We talk about geeky, nerdy, dweeby shit. We play video games all the time. We literally text each other like, oh god, I feel awful. Oh my god, you should watch Captain America and eat ice cream and pizza. Okay, that sounds great. Like, it's normal. It's what we both enjoy. No one should shit on anybody else for it because it's something we both enjoy. No, it's just make sure you're... you're